Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. In this series of tutorials, we'll talk about Swing. So in Java, you can create some GUI applications using Swing. Now what exactly GUI is? GUI stands for its graphical user interface. So what you are able to see now, this is NetBeans IDE and it's a GUI, right? Uh, CLI means if you open your CMD, this is CLI, this is command line interface. So in this world, in this in this current world, what we do is we always use GUI. Example, if you want to calculate two numbers, always obviously you will have to use uh, a calculator so to, to, to add two numbers. So that's a GUI, right? You, when you add two numbers, let's say we, if I open a calculator here, so this is a GUI here. It's a GUI where you can enter some number, let's say 5 into 6 is equal to 30. So I'm performing these operations on GUI. So if you want to execute GUI or if you, want to run, if you want to work with GUI in Java, you have to use some packages. And those, package is, uh, those packages are called as Swing packages. So before Swing, we used to have something called as AWT. AWT stands for it is Abstract, abstract Window Toolkit. Now why to replace uh, uh, AWT with Swing is AWT is a heavyweight component and Swing components are lightweight. It's because all the components which are made for AWT are made using native languages and all the components which are made for Swing are made using Java. So you will see some, some difference in uh, AWT and Swing when we start with the actual practical. So in the next part of the video, we'll talk about some basic components of Swing and we'll, we'll make some uh, small code to uh, demonstrate it. 